name is Todd Huffler with Drop the Spotlight. I am with Jeffrey from Houston Gamers, and we are here at the Houston Gaming Expo. How's the Gaming Expo going for y'all today? Today's been a lot of fun. Uh, yesterday there was a lot more people, but today's been really chill, so we're just talking to people and spreading the word on what Houston Gamers is. Awesome. When did you found, when was uh, Houston Gamers founded? So Houston Gamers, we've been around for 12 years now. Uh, Houston base, uh, yeah. <laughs> Awesome, and what exactly are y'all about? So, Houston Gamers, what we uh, strive to do is we provide a safe space for the LGBTQ community. Uh, we want to do free events where people can come and just play games and nerd out with fellow gamers. So, even if you don't play video games, we're all about nerd culture as well, so come talk about like anything that's gaming or nerd culture. We just want people to make friends. So Awesome, that sounds, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, how many events you normally hold a year? Uh, okay, 3 times 12 is 36, so 36 minimum. Uh, we do three events every month. One of those is our main meetup. That's going to be at Buddy's over in the Montrose area, but what we do is we take the TVs that the bar has, we put our gaming systems on them and just encourage people to come out and enjoy games with us. If you don't like the bar scene, we always do one non-bar scene as well, so right now we're at Shoku Ramen in the Heights. That's usually the third Tuesday of the month, and same thing. We go there, we eat our ramen, we'll watch a couple bit um, anime and we just play games, card games, board games, switch handhelds, whatever you want to bring, that's the place for it. And then we always sprinkle in one community event throughout the year or throughout the month as well. So we've done things with Tony's Place, which helps out, you know, homeless LGBTQ youth. We've done things with the LGBTQ uh, Homeless Center, I mean, uh, um, Old Folk Center, like different things. We always try and do at least one charity event as well. So um, at least 36 events throughout the year, <laughs> but we usually sprinkle in more. <laughs> So, Awesome. What was the one video game that got you into video games? Oh, so I'm a big Pokemon and Legend of Zelda fan. So, like, I played a couple video games, like, before them, but I think Pokemon was, like, the big one that was, like, me kind of hyper fixating is, like, I need to catch all of them. And then it was also about the same time I started getting into Legend of Zelda. So it was a combination of the two. I've always been a Nintendo fanboy, so those are my big two. <laughs> Oh yeah, Nintendo is fun. Um, what has been like? What was the first game you ever beat? Uh, first game I ever beat. Wow. Because um, I'm old. Shoot. <laughs> Uh, I, I was playing on the NES, so I mean, I guess the like, I think okay, Super Mario Brothers three was probably the first one that I remember beating and having like that sense of oh wow, I accomplished something. So uh, Super Mario Brothers three, final answer. So awesome, awesome. So when is the next? Uh Gamers event. Next gamers event is going to be on the 25th. That's going to be a Tuesday, and that's going to be our handhelds connect. So that's going to be the one that's at Shoku Ramen in the Heights. Awesome. And where can they find Shoku Ramen? Uh, Shoku Ramen, um, it's in the Heights. Uh, they're going to be like you can find them on all the socials. Like they they, they got something on everything. But uh, as far as finding information about our events, we're on everything. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We have a Discord. Just type in Houston Gamers. You're going to find us. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the convention, Jeff. And this is Todd with Drop the Spotlight, and we will see you at the cons.